In this presentation, we look at Venn diagrams. So, suppose we have a college that teaches courses in the following subject areas, mathematics, computing, and statistics. And students in the college may take their courses from any of these three subject areas. Students are not obliged to take courses from any of these three subject areas and may indeed take courses in other subject areas. So let the subject areas be represented by the letters M for mathematics, C for computing and S for statistics. What we have to do is draw a labelled Venn diagram showing the areas M, C and S in such a way that it would represent the students studying at the college. On your Venn diagram, show the number of students studying in each region of the Venn diagram. So let's have a look at our Venn diagram. Here we have it here. We have M the uh, standing for the mathematics students, C, the red circle that stands for the computing students, and S that stands for the statistics students. I have some numbers there. I'll explain what they are now in a second. There are 600 students all in total enrolled in the college. 300 of those are mathematics students, 120 of those are statistics students, and 380 are taking computing courses. So I've added those numbers in there just to get an idea of the sum totals that should be within each region. So there should be 380 in the C circle, 380 students taking computing subjects. There should be 300 students in the blue circle, and 120 students in the statistics circle and altogether there should be 600 students accounted for. Now we're given the following pieces of information. First off, 40 students are taking courses from all three subject areas. So I'm going to write that into my Venn diagram. All three subject areas will correspond to this region here which is enclosed by each of the circles. It's enclosed by the green circle for statistics, it's enclosed by the blue circle for mathematics, and it's enclosed by the red circle for computing. So 40 students are taking uh, subjects from each of the three subject areas. 200 mathematics students are also taking computing s courses as well. So let's go back to our Venn diagram for a second. We have 200 students in who are studying both mathematics courses and computing courses, but we've already counted for 40 who are additionally studying studying uh, statistics. What we have to do is determine how many are studying maths and computing courses, but not statistics courses. And it's very simple, it's just a remainder 160. So we have 200 students in both the M circles and C circles, and that's 160 plus 40. Additionally, that 40 are also studying computer science subjects, or statistics subjects. 60 computing students are also taking statistics courses. Again, let's go back to our Venn diagram. Well, we have 60 students studying both computing and statistics, but we've already counted for 40 of those who are additionally studying mathematics. This means that 20 are studying computing subjects and statistics subjects, uh, but not mathematics subjects. 70 statistics students are also taking mathematics courses. Again, We've already counted for 40 of those students who are additionally taking computing subjects, so that leaves 30 who are studying both maths and statistics, but not computer science. So we've accounted for quite a lot of the um, student group already. So what we're going to do now is try and determine how many are studying statistics only, mathematics only, and computing only. Well let's first look at statistics. We've actually already counted for 90 of the st uh, students who are studying statistics subjects. We have 20 plus 40 plus 30. There are 120 students altogether studying uh, statistics, 
So that means there are 30 studying statistic subjects only. We have also determined uh, uh, we've also like accounted for 230 mathematics students uh, students who are studying mathematics so courses 120 plus 40 plus 30 so that's 230 that means there are 70 students who are taking mathematics courses only not computing courses or statistics courses and lastly we have found accounted for 220 computing students who are also taking maths and or statistics or both that means that there are 160 uh, students who are taking computing uh, classes only not mathematics or statistics now are there how many students are there altogether have we accounted for there altogether well we have 380 here uh, taking these in the computing region additionally we have 70 here that brings us up to 450 I'm going to make a running count over here 380 oops start again 380 plus 70 plus 30 plus 30 that's 510 so I've accounted for 510 students that means that there are 90 students who are not studying mathematics, computing, or statistics. So let's look at the questions now. How many students study none of these courses at all? Uh, we have found that to be 90. 510 are studying at least one. So 90 are not studying any of those subjects. How many students are taking mathematics courses but not computing courses or statistics courses? Well, we found that to be 70. And how many students are taking uh, are studying courses from precisely two subject areas? Let's look at that now. So let's recap a second. How many students are taking none uh, no courses from mathematics, statistics or computing? 90. How many students are taking mathematics but not computing or statistics? 70. And the last thing we have to do is compute how many students are taking subjects from exactly two subject areas. So we have, let's see now, the mathematics and computing, we have 160. We have mathematics and statistics, that's 30. And we have computing and statistics, that's another 20. So altogether we have 210 such students who are taking subjects in exactly two subject areas. And that ends our presentation.